Christ's righteousness. Holy. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that encouraging? We are guilty, not one of us. I remember my father married this lady who was a former Adventist. And she had two kids. And I remember one day I walked into the kitchen and the little girl was up on the counter with her hand in the cookie jar. And I said, what are you doing? She says, I've lost something and I'm looking for it. You know, it it's our nature to claim that we're innocent. You know, when you do prison ministry, you'll discover that everybody there is innocent. But in the, in the heavenly sanctuary, we're all guilty. For the wage of sin is death. We all have sinned, which I'm sure the glory of God. We're all guilty. But by the righteousness of Christ, we are transformed. And he makes us, he makes us good. And the books of life are open. And when, when you look at the list of all your sins, you see the name Jesus and the word forgiven. Because of the blood of the Lamb that was sacrificed on that cross, our sins are forgiven. It's not whether I'm good enough. It's that Jesus is good enough. Amen. It's not whether I work hard enough to be good. It's that Jesus already is good. And then we have the cleansing of the sanctuary in 1844. That's the end of the 2300 prophecy. But it's not the end of our mission. Our mission is to share with family and friends and neighbors and the world that the time of judgment has come. Fear God and give glory to Him for the hour of His judgment has come. That's our mission. There's no confusion about it. God has made it very clear. Go into all the world, preach the gospel, and baptize people. Make them into disciples. That's our mission. There's no uncertainty about it. Jesus is in the most holy place, representing us before the Father. And He needs us as His ambassadors, representing Him among our family, and our friends, and our neighbors. That's our mission. To be the light of the world. Both Adventists and those who are not yet Adventists. Isn't that a great mission? This is what the 2300 day prophecy is about. We have a mission. Remember I told you earlier, God has given us that promise in Revelation 14:12. Here are the patience of the saints. You are able to keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. Some of you wonder, will the church ever get? Well, we've already been told in Revelation 14, and written in the first century, that yes, the church will finally get it. And will represent Jesus Christ in a way that glorifies his name and ushers in the end time and the soon coming of Christ. That's what I want to be, right? To be part of that people who are keeping his commandments and who have the faith of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you. Thank you for Gabriel's message to Daniel looking forward. And thank you that we can look back Amen. and share with family and friends how orderly you are and how important we are to you. Lord, recognizing that we're that important to you, help us to see our family, our friends, our neighbors the same way you see us. Help us to see them that way. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
I know the devil constantly reminds us of our sinfulness, but we need to remind him, Lord, of his destiny. Yes. And our destiny in Christ is eternity. We're praying in Jesus' name.